Hello, today I'm going to explain statuses for items in Azure DevOps. As you already know, we have our ERP project. Okay, and if I go to boards and let's say in work items, you will see that I have a lot of user stories, some features, some tasks, etc. etc. Okay, let's go to backlogs. And let's choose in billing one by one, for example, Epic. Epic have states. Here are states, new, active, resolved, closed, and removed. Okay, let's go back to features. Feature has new, active, resolved, closed, removed as well. Let's go back to user stories. They have new active resolve closed removed. Come on, let's go somewhere in tasks. So let's see, is there any task here? Yes, new active closed removed without resolve. So those are ta uh, items and uh, statuses which are set by default when you create a project from, let me go back here, from inherited process. So I go to organizational settings once again. So I was here in my organization, organizational settings. And if I go to process, I will choose the process which my project, uh, project is using. And you can see here that I have some items here. And if I choose, for example, Epic, if I go to states, I will see exactly those statuses. But can they be adjusted? Okay, can they be removed or hide? Can I add some statuses which are needed for my projects, all my of my projects, which are using this process? And if you if I go to process, I can see that basically I'm, my, my two projects, ERP project and webshop projects, are under this process. So let's go back to process, okay? And let me show you how can I uh, rearrange items, uh, statuses. But before that, let me show you the case. What do I want to achieve? So, for my project, I decided that I will need some additional statuses. Okay, for here, you can see to which item type, uh, uh, for uh, about which item type, uh, type do I talk. And under this particular sheet, you will see what are statuses. So, okay. New active, resolve, close, remove. This is good as it is for Epic. And also for feature, new active, resolve, close, remove. Now let's go to user stories. I have new. What is new? It is created. It is new. Clarification means that user story was written by consultant, but the uh, 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 people from my team that don't understand everything, so it is not clear enough before it can be scoped, it can be estimated. So, we go to the third status, which is scoping. Scoping means everything is clear, we understand what should be done, and we now can estimate it. After the user story is estimated, it is going to be in ready state. So it is ready for developing. When it starts with development, it is inactive. And when it is inactive, if something is unclear during the development, it, it, is, it should go to wait for feedback. After it's done, it's resolved. Okay. Ready to test means that the customer will uh, uh, take it and say, okay, it's ready for test because result means we are done. 
So technician uh, developers, testers did their job and they put it in result. When the customer will be ready, it will push it, pull it to ready to test and they will test it. After it's tested, it can be closed. And in, in, in some cases, it can be removed, so not needed. Let's go back to bug. Bug has the same thing. New clarification scope, ready, active, wait for feedback, resolve, ready to test, closed. What, uh, what we have here, we have ready to test, closed, removed. Here, we don't have removed. Bug cannot be removed. Okay. Task has new clarification scope ready, uh, scoping ready, active, wait for feedback, resolve, ready to test, closed, removed as a user story. Okay. Now that's it. Now I explained what I, what do I need for my uh, uh, specific item types. Let, let me show you how can I add those statuses for particular item in uh, Azure DevOps. So let's go item by item. Epic states are new active resolved close removed great i have them okay for feature let's go back here feature states new active resolved close removed great now use a story okay let's go to user story which do i need i need new okay i new need clarification scoping i need ready i need active okay wait for feedback resolved ready for test ready to test closed and removed okay so clarification i can go here new and say i need clarification i will start to First of all, I will show you which are available. Here, those are which are available. I have design in planning in progress, ready, completed, okay. But I am not going to use that. I have ready, okay. I will create the new one. So I will say clarification. Now, each status belongs to one state category is it proposed so okay this is where new belongs is it in progress is it completed is it resolved or is it removed okay i will say that my clarification is proposed and i will leave this gray color why because when it's new and i need some further information before i can take it to consideration for work for scoping it uh, it is in proposed state so i will put it in proposed state i will choose new state now and i will say scoping so scoping is also in proposed because before it is scoped, it is not scoped, it cannot be, uh, uh, it cannot take, uh, uh, it cannot be taken to, uh, for development. Okay, now I have new clarification scope, scoping. Now I need new one, which is going to be ready. But I have ready. Ready means it is ready for development and i will move it up okay because it should be it should be first ready then active then active okay but i need wait for feedback so i will say wait for feedback and I will say, wait for feedback in, is in progress because when I start to work with some uh, uh, with user story, and after something uh, is uh, standing on my way for 
uh, finishing development, I should wait for feedback for someone. Okay, so it is active, ready. Let's say that wait for feedback is before it is resolved. Okay, and now I should have ready for test. New, ready for test and should be in progress as well. And it is also before wait for feedback is before it is resolved and ready for test is also before it is resolved. And I have closed removed. So let me check out new clarification scoping active ready wait for feedback uh, uh, ready for test resolved close sorry resolved then ready for test so I should move down resolved ready for test closed and removed. Okay, this is for user story. Let's go back to bug. Okay. Bug. Okay. Here. It has states new active resolved and closed. What I need? I need now first clarification. See clarification when, when a new state is added. For example, as I did for user story, after that, you don't have to create it once again for another item type. State is state. When you create it one, it is created and it can be used by any item type. So here I will have easy clarification. Okay. I just have move it up. New state, then scoping. Okay, so new clarification scoping and clarification is here. Okay, then I should put ready. Okay, and I will, ha I have now new clarification scoping ready. Active is here wait for feedback here resolved ready to test and closed let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine great i will do that for the rest and i will show you how, how it looks like I, uh, when I'm finished. Okay, let's look what we have. Epic, everything is fine. Feature, we didn't change anything. States, everything is fine. User story, states. New clarification, scoping, ready, active, wait for feedback, result, ready for test, ready for test, closed, remove. Okay. Let's go to bugs. States, new clarification scope ready active. Wait for feedback ready for test resolve closed. And last but not least, let's go to tasks. We have states, new clarification scope ready active. Waiting for feedback. Wait for feedback resolve ready to test closed. Now it's great. Let's go here and let's go in our project and let's choose uh, board and let's go to to backlog and let's go to our payroll system okay we have everything here payroll new active result close removed okay great feature new active result close removed user story New clarification scoping ready active. Wait for feedback result ready for, for test closed remove. And task. New clarification scope ready active. Wait for feedback result ready for to test closed remove. Let's go to boards. You can see that for stories, I don't see all of them. I just have new active result closed. Okay. If I go to epics, 
I will have new active resolve clause as well. So this should be modified. Not today, not in this video, but I will show you in some of my future video, uh, uh, let's say in two weeks. But now what I want to show you that I can use, for example, any of those, okay, and I can move them from any state to any state. So I can say from new directly to active, okay, and I can description, okay, this is a description. Save. It is active. I can put it back on you. Okay? And I can save it. But I don't want to do that. I want, first of all, under some circumstances, that my uh, status can move. Not from any state to any state. So let me drag here my my uh, uh, previous screen, and you will see that I have here, let's say for user story, the whole schema, how to do. From new, it can go to clarification and to scoping, but from new, it cannot be ready directly because it should be scoped first. From new cannot be active directly. Wait for feedback cannot be directly. Result cannot be directly. Ready for test cannot be directly, etc. etc. Let's go to Epic. It is a simple one. From new it can be active, but it can be it can now go from new directly to result or closed. From new it can go only to active and remove. From active only to new resolve and remove. From resolve only to active to closed and remove. From closed, it can be active, and from removed, it can be active as well. How to achieve that? That's the uh, my. Uh, that's what I'm going to explain in next videos. Video in which I will explain rules. Until then, have a nice day.